Welcome back to our channel. Today, we dive into one of the most puzzling questions in modern military aviation. Why hasn't any country bought Russia's fifth generation stealth fighter, the Sukhoi Su-57 Pakfe, except for Russia itself? Despite being Russia's answer to the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, the Su-57 has struggled to find international customers. Let's break down the key reasons behind this. One, production issues and delays. The Su-57 program has faced significant delays and production setbacks. Originally planned for large-scale deployment by the early 2010s, the fighter only entered limited service in 2020. Even now, Russia has fewer than 30 operational units, far behind expectations. Countries are hesitant to invest in an aircraft with an uncertain production timeline. 2. Performance and reliability concerns. While the Su-57 boasts advanced features like supercruise, stealth, and high maneuverability, experts question whether it can match Western stealth fighters. The aircraft still relies on upgraded AL-41 F-1 engines instead of the next-gen Izdelia 30 engines promised for true supercruise capability. Without proven reliability, potential buyers remain skeptical. 3. Stealth Technology Limitations one of the biggest selling points of a fifth-generation fighter is its stealth capability. However, multiple reports suggest that the Su-57's stealth design is not as advanced as the F-22 or F-35. Its radar cross-section, RCS, is believed to be larger, making it more detectable to modern air defense systems. For nations seeking true stealth capabilities, the Su-57 may not be the best option. Patch 4. Economic and Political Barriers Russia has been facing economic sanctions, especially after its invasion of Ukraine. These sanctions make it difficult for countries to engage in arms deals with Russia without risking penalties from the U.S. and NATO allies. Nations that might have considered purchasing the Su-57, like India, Algeria, and Vietnam, are now looking at alternatives. 5. Lack of international trust Many countries hesitate to invest in Russian military technology due to concerns over after-sales support maintenance, and spare parts availability. Unlike the U.S., which offers long-term maintenance contracts and technology upgrades for its fighter jets, Russia's defense exports have struggled with logistical challenges. 6. Strong competition from the U.S. and China With the F-35 becoming widely available to U.S. allies, many nations prefer to buy into a proven system with a strong supply chain and global support network. Even China's J-20 stealth fighter is gaining interest in certain markets, making competition even tougher for the Su-57. 7. India's exit from the FGFA program. India was once Russia's most promising customer for the Su-57 under the fifth-generation fighter aircraft FGFA program. However, India withdrew from the project in 2018, citing concerns over stealth capabilities, cost overruns, and lack of technology transfer. This was a huge setback for the Su-57's export potential. Conclusion. Will the Su-57 ever find buyers? As of now, the Su-57 remains a Russia-exclusive fighter. While Moscow continues to promote its capabilities, potential buyers remain wary due to production delays, stealth concerns, and geopolitical risks. If Russia can overcome these issues and lower the cost, the Su-57 might still find a place in the international market. What do you think? Will the Su-57 eventually attract buyers, or is it doomed to remain a Russia-only jet? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth military tech analysis.